our mind is a tremendous gift where it remembers vividly every experience and every information that comes our way. Well, this can be transformed into your phenomenal imagination, but if you lose control over your imagination, if you lose the discrimination as to what is imagination and what is reality, what is future, what is present and what is past, then <laughs> your mind will become your greatest enemy. Most human beings are not suffering life, they're just suffering their memory and their imagination. What happened ten years ago, they still suffer. What may happen day after tomorrow, they already suffer. This is not about life, this is about lack of control over two most fantastic faculties that human beings have, a vivid sense of memory and a fantastic sense of imagination. Do not worry about your future. If you do your present well, future will naturally blossom. We can only work with what's on our hands right now <laughs> You cannot work with what's on your mind. You can plan for what's on your mind, but you cannot do anything about it. You can only act in the present moment. You can only handle what is there right now. Those of you who too engrossed in your own thoughts and emotions, constantly being maybe on social media or something, I think you must get rid of your phone and take a walk in the forest. If it's not possible every day, at least one or two days in a month, you might get lost somewhere. Just be in nature all by yourself, walk, sit, observe. If you pay enough attention, you will see, you will be so enchantingly enamored by every little thing in the existence because the way a single ant is made is too much for you and your intelligence to grasp exactly how this is made. Those who have not peeled their eyes to the creation get too enamored with their own mental creations, which is their thought, the juicy part being emotion. When your thought and your emotion becomes more important than the creator's creation, that means you have become a perceptional tragedy. You have not realized the nature of life at all. We know many things, we can do many things, but we do not know anything in its entirety. So this is the nature of the existence. If you pay attention to it, naturally your own thought and emotion will sink to the background. You can still enjoy them, but you know how insignificant it is. So it's very important that if you want to experience the multifarious dimensions of life, you have to be non-serious. You become serious only because you have taken your own existence too seriously, though we exist here for a minuscule amount of time in this cosmos. This is a vast cosmos. The very planetary system, the solar system in which we exist is a speck. In that, planet Earth is a micro speck. In that micro speck, the place you live or the city you live is a super micro speck. In that, you have become a big man or woman. And that's the reason why you're so serious about life. It's a brief amount of time that you have as life. In this, if you take yourself too seriously, you are one big joke. The secret of life is to see everything with a non-serious eye, but to be absolutely involved like a sport. So be a sport for life. If you want to be a sport for life, you have to be able to see that your existence is of consequence for the times in which we live, but not of eternal consequence unless you touch the eternal dimension of who you really are. It's such a brief life only in doing what you truly care for, will your life become worthwhile? If genuine involvement has to come in your life, for you to give yourself absolutely, 
you must be doing something that truly, truly matters to you. It's important that you find that. When I say it's important to find that, you don't have to spend half your life looking for what is my passion. No, you just have to dig into this ability of you making everything yours. When everything is yours, this whole world is yours, this cosmos is yours. So when it is a part of you, if you involve yourself absolutely and constantly strive to create what matters to you, what you really care for, then your existence itself will be worthwhile. Not necessarily your actions, not necessarily what you achieve and may not achieve, but your very existence will be truly worthwhile because just to breathe and be is a phenomenon. <laughs> there is no greater phenomenon than life. If this is not worthwhile, if this is not worthwhile, what is?